In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a concept that is going to attack the seams out of the trips tight end. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And I also want to let you know that if you enjoy the trips tight end breakdown and you want to learn more about this offense, I have a full ebook in my Patreon membership. What's cool about the Patreon is it's not just going to get you access to just the trips tight end ebook. You actually get access to every Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebook that I have, which right now we have 18 ebooks. You'll also, by being a member, be able to get access to any updates to those guides and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. And the cool part is the price. It's only $10 a month that unlocks everything. And like I said, we typically uh, update those guides rather regularly. Uh, we update those guides probably uh, once or twice a week at the least. Um, so you're always getting some new content. I actually just yesterday uh, put a huge update in the Patreon for our nickel 335 wide defense. So about an hour and 15 minutes of content in there for you. Um, so again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, you get everything. Uh, as long as your membership's active, it's only $10 a month. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Now today we're talking about the play verticals. And this concept is actually, uh, I think you're going to really enjoy it because we're going to utilize this uh, motion to create a really lethal attack in the seam that will be able to beat every coverage in this game. So we're just going to come out in the play verticals here. And on defense, we're just going to come out in the cover four drop. Now, cover four is decent against seams, right? Especially um, quarters, right? But what we're going to do with this is something that's a little different. So what we're going to do is we're going to streak our tight end. We're going to put um, circle here Godwin on a flat. And then we're going to put our running back on a wheel. And we're going to motion Godwin to the right. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to give us really good way to attack the seam because now we have this seam wheel to go with the tight end streak which makes this really hard to guard um, they are going to utilize the seam wheel as kind of a way that we can check it down in case things aren't there uh, so as you see here cover four does a pretty good job of guarding it uh, because you have the two safeties so we can easily just check it down over here to the right side the other reason why I really like the running back route, and I've talked about this before, is if they go to man coverage, this running back route, when he cuts inside, you're just going to low pass it, and it's going to be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage. It really doesn't matter what man-to-man -man coverage it is. Um, that was cover uh, two man. <clears throat> this is going to be cover one uh, man coverage. And I'll just show you the concept. So again, your first read is always your triangle receiver, but if he gets covered, now you're looking here, and as you can see, we can kind of throw that in a pocket against man over on the right side. So that's how I utilize the running back wheel um, in case things break down. Now, the other route that I want to really talk about today is this seam to triangle. It's got a really nice little spacing within it. And so you can kind of pass like this open in different situations. Now, most people that play Madden 22 they're going to use zone drops on their defense, which means you're not going to get a reroute from the quarter flat. If you don't get a reroute, then it makes this throw here very simple, um, very simple to the triangle receiver. Now that hook curl is actually doing a decent job, but let me show it to you again here. You also have your tight end on this other side. But see how I can hit this tight end up the seam. The other thing is, with the tight end route, the wheel route will actually pull uh, pull it down. Now, the yellows are doing actually fairly decent. It's because I'm throwing it just a little bit too early. Most of the time, you'll actually be facing Mabel coverages, which they're, they're going to only have one user in the middle of the field, more than likely. Um, the yellow zones aren't going to get so vertical. But what you can see here, if I pass it this right, I can cut that off with a secure catch and be able to catch that against cover three. Now, on the left side, let me talk about that for just a second. So let's say that we're running this to, and we, we want to attack the left side. Notice the safety move to the middle of the field. Uh, what's going to happen here is typically you can, again, pass like that up the seam. Um, there I threw it just a smidge too, too late. But the yellow zones are uh, giving me a little bit of trouble uh, with this. So what I want to do now is show you the Mabel, because this is more what you're going to get. You're going to get this guy in the middle of the field, probably using the tight end. 
But then over here, it's rare that they actually run a yellow. Uh, more than likely, they're going to run uh, man to or um, they're going to run double flat to that side. So what you'll get is this little seam to hit that route, as you can see. Now, I'm not saying that they won't uh, adjust to this. So the the primary adjustment that they're going to make typically is going to be they're going to take this guy, put him on a yellow zone. This guy put him on a man coverage on that receiver. And then on the back side, they're going to play their traditional Mabel. Okay. Now, this is where the running back becomes very, very valuable for this concept. What you're going to notice is with the running back here, now they have to choose are they going to guard the tight end? I don't know how that safety played that. I think that's because he was in a seam flat. Let me redo that. Um, they're going to have to choose either the tight end. Or they're going to have to choose the uh, running back. So they're put. We put this guy in a lot of conflict. Okay, and if they are going to go with that, if, and I'll show you something you can do about that adjustment in just a second, where we can still run the same basic concept, maybe be a little bit better. But what you'll see here is there's a massive void to throw that tight end, especially if they're doing zone drops. Because remember, if they do zone drops, they're not rerouting, they're not matching, they're not going to do that. Okay, so then well, let's say that they use her over the tight end. Well, now what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to hit your running back. Okay, so set the concept up, and what you'll see now is they're going to climb with the tight end, so your eyes are going to go to the running back, who is wide open right there. So you see how the play can kind of really work off of one another. The last coverage I want to talk through is cover two, and then we're going to show you an adjustment you can make if they start doing some of the manually manning up stuff. With cover two, um, there's really two things that you want to do. The first one is really the best one, which is to hit that fade to the left side receiver. I do need to get a little bit more time to hit that. If they don't get a jam on there, which again, it just depends on how they're going to cover out of cover two, right? If they, if they do a basic cover two, then it's going to defend it a little bit. It's probably the best. Like just a standard Tampa two will probably defend this the best. But what you'll see is this fade gets on top. Once he gets on top, you can hit that over the top for a, uh, a one-play score against cover two. Now the second thing that you can do with this is, and this is where they're – because remember who their user is. Typically out of this defense, uh, their user is going to be this guy. And so they might say, well, I need to go guard the running back route. Okay? If that's true, then what's going to happen is this wheel to the left, if it's not manned up, typically passing that to the inside, you see how I get a little bit of a step on the player, and I can get over the top. Obviously in cover two, then, if they drop, which is not a, you know, a lot of people do this, if they drop a zone there, then you're going to be able to hit your uh, backside stuff. So you look, oh, that's an open. I can low ball that tight end. And I, and I don't want you to sleep on that. That's a really good read. Um, it's something you need to make them have to respect. This low ball to the tight end is something you need to make them have to respect. Now, let's say, for example, that you know they're playing good user D, but they, and they've got the two vertical hooks. How does the vertical hook affect the wheel to the back? What you'll notice here is it actually doesn't really cover it. You can still kind of hit that wheel even if they have a vertical hook over there. Now the last thing that I wanted to show is once they start to adapt, um, once they start to adapt, and let's say for example, because this is a very popular adjustment out of trips tight end. A very popular adjustment is to man up this guy and then drop maybe a curl flat or a vertical hook over there and then on this backside to do something like, like this, okay? This is a very, very popular adjustment with the user in the middle, okay? If they're starting to do that, what you wanna do is you wanna streak the tight end and streak the inside slot, wheel the running back, and now you're gonna flat the outside slot and motion him across. Now this guy's completely misaligned in a bad assignment. He's all the way over here, and this seam right here is actually probably even a little bit easier to hit, okay, as you can see right there. So it's a real simple little adjustment. Every read is basically the same. And I'll show you how this works against all the major coverages. So let's say, for example, they're in cover four. You are going to have um, your running back. The cover four defends this the best. 
it kind of forces you to check down to your running back. But let's say they run, let's say that they run cover three. So if they run cover three, now you have these two real tight wheels um, or t tight streaks. So you're just going to pass lead that to the left side. You see you can hit that against cover three. And then most importantly, like let's say that they're using zone drops, which they typically will be, especially in a formation like trips tight end. You get this concept here. They're using zone drops. Just wait on that tight end route and hit that right up the seam, as you can see, once it clears the yellow zones. And then, of course, if they're playing, this is a really, really good concept for uh, any kind of Mabel coverage because what's going to happen is these, these zones, they're going to clear faster because the zones are going to fan to the outside to try to get outside to stop some of the corner routes. So now you'll see right here, you get this nice little seam right in the middle, and you can hit that. This also doesn't change necessarily very much in terms of how we're going to beat uh, our cover two coverage. So let's say they run cover two on you. You're still your primary read. This seam to circle is going to hold the safety. So your primary read on this is once that guy gets on top of the cloud, you're throwing that with an up and outside pass lead. And as you can see, we're killing cover two. So this is a real simple play, but it's something that you really need to have in your playbook because... If they start running a lot of zone drops, specifically if a lot of Mike Blitz 3, this concept is so good because you have one of the most unstoppable concepts in Madden 22 in the fact that you have this wheel uh, to the running back. So you force them to have to guard that. They have to go guard that, and then now you have seams on either side that you can hit against the zone defense. So simple concept, but very important, especially once they start to do a lot of um, – just what I would call mabling or dropping of zones, heavy zone drop coverage. This is a great little play to throw at them and um, something that I think you're going to have a lot of benefit from. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full Trips Tight End ebook, remember the Patreon membership gets you access to everything. You'll also get all of the rest of the 17 other offensive and defensive guides that I've released, as well as any updates while your membership's active. Great deal. Only $10 a month gets you access to everything. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below that you can click on. And it'll take you right over to the membership and you can get signed up.